Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We've got a, uh, a new beer here that I found in a grocery store, actually, that I'd never heard of, never read anything about, but it's from Newcastle. I wanted to show you the six-pack holder. Um, it's called their Founder's Ale, and if you look on the cap, it says it's a limited editions release. It's a, a green cap, green label, uh, brown, traditional Newcastle bottle, and in the top it says a blightly good brew. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, what this is is um, it talks about how it's a it's a uh, it's an ale to uh, that is a tribute to the heritage and authenticity of those top brewers of Victorian Newcastle. Founders is a pale ale. With a dry hoppy flavor and aromas, it is sweet rather than bitter, with a clean short finish. It says way better to toast the season of renewal. So um, it's uh, supposed to be a spring release. So it just showed up in our grocery store. It's the end of January right now, about to be February. Um, so it's some of the spring beers are already in our grocery store. So it's a spring beer. Um, it talks about also on the back to our says five fathers, so I mean it goes back to the uh, I guess some of the history of of Newcastle and ales. Um, it's, it's actually surprisingly good. Um, it's it's got a nice red color to it. Um, it's got your what I call it your uh, traditional Newcastle head. It comes on when you pour it and it kind of disappears at the end. You can still see some bubbles coming up from the bottom, not heavily carbonated, but not but not not carbonated. Um, it's got a really nice, dry, hoppy flavor. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find out what the IBUs were. I do know the alcohol content is 4.8. I mean, this would be a really, really good, what a lot of people label as a session beer. Um, it was $9 a six-pack, which I think is very reasonable. Um, it's just a real smooth, it, the sweetness obviously is from this, you know, kind of caramely multicolor. Um, it's got just a real balanced, drinkable, uh, hoppy, dry flavor. Um, it's one of those beers I think that you could have uh, cooking out um, with a meal, um, even in the hot sun, and it would taste really, really good. Um, it's I like the fact that Newcastle is doing this. Uh, you know, they've got a couple different blends that are coming out that are seasonal releases, and they're 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 different. They're all different, and they all kind of have a, a little bit of history behind them. Um, this one is no exception. So, um, it's real simple to describe. It's a pale ale uh, that's got a little bit of sweetness to it. Your traditional kind of uh, bitterness, but by no means is it what I would call a bitter pale ale. Um, it's got a moderate alcohol content with a very, very dry finish. It just like disappears in your mouth after you uh, after you drink it, which is nice. Um, you wouldn't reek alcohol the whole night, for example, if you had this thing as opposed to like an IPA. Um, nine dollar six pack, I think, is very reasonable. So I like it. I I will probably buy this again. Um, like I said, it just showed up in our grocery stores. It's hot off the presses. So um, I would definitely recommend you trying it. It's worth the nine dollars a six pack to try, even if you don't like pale ales or even if you don't typically buy Newcastle products. I can't tell you the last time I bought a six pack of Newcastle. When I go to a wedding or to a, like a business function and they have Newcastle. I get it, I like it, I enjoy it, but I don't go out and buy it at the grocery store. Um, I'm glad I bought this, so I would definitely check it out. Um, I'll buy it again. I would probably give this a, I'll, I'll rank it as a three and a half, if not a four, on my rating scale on microbeerreviews.com. So um, I would definitely, it's worth it. Check it out. Um, Founders Newcastle Ale, brand new in your stores, 2012. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried it. Please make comments on our website or on our YouTube channel. We really appreciate constructive comments. Like us on Facebook. Track us on Twitter. We're all over the place. But thanks for watching. See you again real soon. Cheers.